talk to my brothers and we reminisce on some of our past. And I, I told them I had a fourth grade encounter with a, a, a science teacher. She said, we came from monkeys. Hmm. That disturbed me. And I told her, I said, no, we didn't. I said, our God made us in his own image, in his own likeness. And for that reason, we ought to tell him, thank you. I told somebody, I said, I get so emotional when I think about how good God is and how much he loves us. And he, I tell people, I said, I, I, I just can't even correlate or just think about him not taking a nap or going a good night's sleep. <laughs> Our God is awesome God. He loves us so much that he's watching over us even when we're asleep. He loves us so much that I told you last week he got power for eternity. I thought about that thing today. I said, even in the midst of the city, he lights up the city in heaven. The moon and the stars and everything obeys him and everything moved by his power. What an awesome God. When he died on the cross, they said the moon refused to shine and it dipped down in blood. Mm. That was his power. Didn't we know what happened on the third day? <laughs> he told us, I got all power in my hand. So tonight, saints of God, and wherever you are, in the sound of my voice, take a moment to ask for something that you, you need or you may be interceding for somebody. How many know prayer just crude? from here to California, all over the world. It don't stop. It don't have a, 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 a mile marker limit. First of all, it reach heaven. Nobody knows how far heaven is. If it can reach heaven, it can go around the globe many times. So why are we praying tonight? Remember that you're praying to a God that can do anything but fail. Anything. Somebody say, I'm, I may be sick in my body. If it's not me, it's somebody else. He can heal everybody at the same time. And all the things that we read in the Bible, they said basic instruction before leaving earth. And, and some of the things in the Bible is for uh, his references. He has more medicine in the hem of his garment. Yes, God. Yes. It's declared that more than all the doctors in the universe. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. We have a tendency to go to the doctor and tell the doctor what we're going through. Then he tries to write a prescription. But how many know if God don't do it, it won't be done. When we take the medicine, we're just doing a, a faith. A faith transition. No, it's not the medicine. Because if the medicine worked, it would work for everybody. Nobody would be sick. God has to get into the medicine and bless you. While we pray in your own way, just continue. And don't ever stop. Somebody say he didn't answer yesterday. Well, keep praying. Keep believing. And always pray. Don't ever give up. Old song says, if there's trouble on the main line, tell him what you want. <laughs> God, we thank you tonight. We come tonight in the humble manner. There's so many that need you. Matter of fact, the whole world needs you. COVID got the whole world upset. And oh God, we know that whenever they was doing what they was doing in that, in that lab, you saw them. 
nothing slips up on you. Nothing sneaks up on you. You got all knowing and all seeing eyes. Nobody plays a trick on you. And we tell you thank you. Much obliged, oh God. We thank you. We thank you. We appreciate everything you've done thus far. I know so many here and some of my good friends say, I went through the COVID experience, but God brought you out. You ought to tell him thank you. They tell me so many things that happen to you when you're going through it. I say, boy, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. He can and he will deliver on time. We know our time is not his time. He's always making a way. He's always doing something. I know you 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 want a microwave blessing, but sometimes you got to get a real uh, uh, meal meal on your blessing, on your prayer. Let it simmer. Oh my God! Sometimes He's using you to let others know I can do it. I can deliver. I can do anything but fail. You remember what Moses said, who would I tell who, who sent me? I tell him that I am that I am. In other words, he's whatever you need. Somebody said, if you're going to worry, don't pray. <laughs> I don't believe in all that because we're going to worry a little bit. We're human. But what we must know just like our, our, our earthly father, our earthly mother desire to do good things for us. But they are only limited. But our father God that sits high and looks low is not limited. His power reigns forever and ever. And ever and ever. Pastor would say eternity. And it is eternity. I, I, I don't know where to get it from. It's not mine. It's not mine. I don't even want to think about it. All I can tell you, he got it. The old song say, God got it. He got it. So ask him. Ask. He'll show up and show out for you. In a timely manner. And don't mess around and our pastor say, don't, piss, don't mess around and put a little tears on it. He'll, he'll move quick for you. I said last week, you may have a category one, category two, category three problem. Whatever it is, tell God about it and watch him move. He'll move for you. I dare somebody just for a few seconds to tell him to move. Move God, move God, move God. Hmm. Somebody say favor ain't fair. I, I just I just have to argue the fact that whenever God do something, it's fair. It's fair. He's a just God. He don't, he don't, he don't do any tricks. He's not slacking his promises. He said, before I lie, heaven and earth will come apart. All he wants you to do is ask and give it over to him. Sometimes I think about when I open up the doors of the church, where is everybody? Where are you going? What you doing? I don't ever want to feel like Noah. Come on, come on, come on. Come come in the ark. Come to the ground of safety. Well, where are you? What, what you doing? This is where you're supposed to be. I tell people, I don't know what else to do. Go to my job, there's trouble. Driving there, there's trouble. It took me 30 minutes to get here. <laughs> oh, I said, God, anybody don't want me to get in the press service. Can you work it out for me? Oh, my God. Lord, we tell you thank you. We tell you thank you. Don't, don't ever stop thanking him. Somebody said, what you thanking him for? You still got breath in your body. You still got the use of the activity of your limb. They may, they may hurt or ache a little bit, but you still got the use of them. And while you're still living, that, that's, that's good enough for me. May have to walk with a cane, may have to walk with a limp, but you're still up and you're still living. 
Don't count God out. I, I, I just said this. Sometimes we go through a test to let others know if he did it for me, he can do it for you. And don't mess around and do like the blind bonnets. Don't get loud. Don't, don't mess around and get loud. Louder than others. And you tell you, 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 you you're too loud. But old blind Barnabas, out of all the people in the in the in the area, he said, "Oh Lord, he wanted to, he wanted some help. He wanted to see. Have mercy on me, that son of David. You know the story. God heard him and said, who is that? <laughs> when he checked him out, I dare somebody to say, Oh Lord, have mercy on me. Somebody going through something, they scared to tell anybody." Tell Jesus. You don't pull to tell nobody. Nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus. Tori, start making your way. And as we continue on our journey in this strange land, in this strange atmosphere, always know Always remember, always believe in the power of prayer. I dare to blow your horns and say, I believe, I believe. Come on, Tori. Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debt till we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever god we thank you for you being god and being god all by yourself we know that beside you there is no other and oh god we just come tonight to lift up your holy name that name that brought us from where we come from to this present time we lift up that name. Mm. That name that picked us up out of the muck and the mire clay. Oh, oh. We call on that name. Mm. That name that saved our souls. Oh, no. We call on that name. Uh -huh. That name that redeemed us from the second death and hell. We call oh, on that name. That name. Oh, yes, that name that when we thought we had gone too far came and grabbed us we call on that name yeah. that name when we can call on nobody else when mothers not available when fathers not available when sisters and brothers are not available that name is the name we call on yes, sir. Yes, sir. We call on that name when we feel like we are in a situation all by ourselves that name mm. that name that created this world in six days and on the seventh they rested that name mm -hmm. that name that said father prepare me a body i'll go down and redeem man back to you that name yes. that name that was wrapped in flesh dwelt among us we beheld his glory as of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth we call on that name mm -hmm. And the thing I like about that name is that that name is highly exalted above every name. Because he did what no other sacrifice could do. That name is, says in Hebrew, the ninth chapter, the 22nd verse, and without the shedding of blood, there be no remission of sin. But that name is not like any other sacrifice. That name did not just come to cover our sins, but that name came and washed our sins away. And because of that name, we are white as snow. And I thank God for the name. And somebody saying, what name are you talking about? 
in the community, you might be asking, what name are you referencing? On YouTube and on Facebook and other social media outlets, you might be wanting to know, what name are you talking about? That name is I am that I am. That name is everything that you need. That name is the lift up of our bow down head. That name is joy and sorrow. That name is our strength. That name is our peace that surpasses all understanding. That name is our happiness in sad times. That name is a name that has dried tears from my eyes. And that name is Jesus. My God, we thank you for the name Jesus. At that name, angels bow down. At that name, men rejoice. And at that name, even the demons in hell begin to tremble. God, we plead that name over every situation that we face. You know how much we can bear. And sometimes it feels like these things are getting a little unbearable. But we call on the name of Jesus. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you are. I don't know specifically what you're going through. But that name knows. And that name said, I have all power. Power over sickness. Power over life. Power over death. Power over the grave. Power over... I, I have it. And the thing I like about it is he's not giving up that power. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. We call that name over these people tonight. We call that name over our pastor and first lady tonight. We call that name over our church tonight. We call that name even in your family, in your individual situations and trials and tribulations. We call on the name Jesus. God, I thank you for that name. That name gives us strength when we're feeling weak. And God, I'm asking that we don't leave this place the same way we came. That this not just be repetitions and this not just be routine and we're just doing it just to be out here. But oh God, I'm asking that lives still be changed. That the sinner be saved. That the backslider be reclaimed. That the saints be refilled. God, I know you can do it. God, we're not out here just walking to be walking. We're not out here just calling on your name for show, form, or fashion, but we're calling on that name because we know that the atmosphere changes when that name is called. Our situation changes when that name is called. Oh God, we are looking and we are expecting results when we call on that name. Uh -huh. Things cannot stay the same when that name is called. And oh God, we just ask you to do what you need to do. Uh -huh. God, we're putting our situations, our problems, we're taking them out of our hands. And as Jesus prayed in the garden of Gethsemane, Father, he said, remove this cup from me. Yeah. And somebody out here is saying, God, this cup is getting a little too heavy for me. God, remove this cup from me. Remove this job. Remove this health crisis. Remove this financial. Oh, remove these things from me. But oh God, you said, nevertheless, not my will. But thy will be done. And on tonight, that's what we're doing. We're taking our situation out of our hands. We're putting them in your hands and we're saying, God, nevertheless, not what I want, not what I think, not what I know is right, but not my will. Your will be done tonight. Your will be done. Paul said three times, God, remove this thorn from me. But God, you said my grace is sufficient. And tonight, that same grace is extended to me. That same grace is extended to you. And I declare we won't leave this place the same way we came. Somebody came down, but they'll leave lifted. Somebody came hurt, but they'll leave healed. Somebody came troubled, but they won't walk, leave these grounds the same way they came. Not only these that are on these grounds, but those listening in the community, those listening through social media, we lift up the name of Jesus tonight. And oh, how I love the name Jesus. Because he first loved me. And oh God, I'm thankful tonight that I was sinking deep in sin. Far from a peaceful shore, buried deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despair and crying from the waters. He lifted me. And now save him, I love lifted me love lifted me when nothing else could help your love lifted me and i'm so glad that the song done in there said for 
God gave his son. God gave his son when nothing else could help. God gave his son. It goes on to say, and the son gave his life. Son gave his life. And when nothing else could help, the son gave his life. And I'm so glad that he came to save me. God, I'm so glad that you looked beyond our faults and you saw our needs. And oh God, that's why tonight we declare that name Jesus over your situation. We plead the blood of Jesus. It still works. That blood still has power. And I'm so glad tonight that we're pleading the blood over these people that they're not walking the same. They're not going to live the same. But there's going to be a change coming. Oh God, we believe that prayer changes things. And oh God, we're earnestly praying and we're seeking your face because God, somebody needs you tonight. One person is in need of one thing and one person is in need of another. But you are a God that can meet all of our needs. And we ask you to do just that. And as we leave this place, but never from your presence, give us traveling grace to our various destinations. And now unto him who's able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before his presence with exceeding joy. The only wise God, our Savior, be glory, power, and dominion, both now and forever. Let the church shout amen, amen, and amen. God bless you, and you have a blessed week.